Hello everybody, this is Vortech, and welcome to the fifth episode in our Rising World Let's Play. Uh, today we are going to be looking at leveling out and starting to build our, like, leveling out an area and starting to build our next project. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys some of the other crafting recipes today, and talk to you guys about some of the things going on around the channel that you're going to see very soon. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, remember, if you enjoy this video, leave a like, you know. Tell a friend, help support Rising World and uh, the channel as well. Uh, I have here my little scythe. I've been chopping away at some grass. I'm going to show you guys kind of what I've been working on and what I plan to do here. So I built some more things. This is the last crafting station we haven't built yet, the loom. And it's going to be used for doing things like making clothing and stuff, but for now we can just make a tent. So I made the tent, and you can actually store items in this like a chest. And also, you can uh, sleep in it and skip nighttime. So now we have a way to skip nighttime. You can also sleep in this, but you can't store items in it. So that's the uh, starter shelter. I've been asked to build that because I keep forgetting about it. Uh, so there you guys go. There's all the new things. I made some a table and some chairs, just kind of decorate a little bit. And uh, I started recording, but it wasn't very interesting. So I kind of decided to take this episode in a different direction. I started clearing out grass because I want to build next to the base. And what I'm noticing is the land is really lumpy. So I'm like, well, you know, the land here was really lumpy. I guess I'm just kind of building around that. But I was looking at the tool station, and I discovered a tool that I hadn't seen before. It is the rake. A rake used to smooth out the terrain. There's also a sledgehammer used to smooth out rock. So this is for terraforming. We can go and terraform mountains with the sledgehammer or the land here with the rake. And all we need for that is one rake head, which is probably free right now. Let's make a rake head, and let's go ahead and make ourselves the rake. Sweet. So this is exciting, because I've been wondering if there's going to be like a shovel or something to smooth out land. The rake makes, I guess, a little more sense. So we have this nice big lump. We have a lump here. And what is that? Okay. So that gets us a nice dirt spot. I don't know if grass is going to grow back on that, but what about this? All right. Okay, cool. So the only downside here I see is that we could end up digging ourselves like a, a hole, like digging too far down, and I can't like fill in land. I can only seem to remove it. But that's okay. This is better than nothing. It's also removing the grass at the same time, which is a pain in my ass. So that works. Cool. So we're able to smooth out land now, which is an awesome development for us. Uh, I've been trying to mow down the grass. I would love to put more dirt here to, you know, bring this part of the land up to that level. But that's just how I am with, uh, you know, Minecraft and stuff. I just have this thing where I have to build on flat surfaces. I think a lot of people are like that. So if I can just break out of that, maybe we'll be okay. But who knows? Maybe there's, maybe there's dirt here that I'm kind of missing. Recycled metal. Uh... Asphalt. So I could probably just put like pathways or something there. It's, it doesn't need to be perfect. But the other thing that one of you awesome people in the comments pointed out, something I totally missed, these arrows sitting next to the blocks. Any block, if you click the arrows, you get different shapes. And I was saying, I hope they add different shapes to the game. Here they were all along. Damn it. <laughs> Had I known this, maybe the wall would look slightly better. Or maybe worse. Who knows? But this is what we're going to use to uh, start building our next project. Uh, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. There's already stairs in the game. Like, awesome. This is perfect. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pick a nice wood texture for our pillars. We're going to put a, a new house up on some stilts, sort of. Uh... Because that'll keep, if, if grass grows under it, or if I kind of like, if I forget to mow a certain spot, there won't be grass coming out of our floor. And uh, that's just dandy. I, I like that. So I'm just trying to pick a wood texture I like. There's a lot here. Some of them look like, this should be like wood floor, I think. Uh, some of these are just really nice, and some of them are really rustic. I think we'll stick with like a rustic look. And let's go to the cylinder. This crafts four of them. I should not need more than four, but uh, you never know. Let's see what this gets us, though. So, I'm going to come out here and try to figure out where I want, like, the front of my house to be. Uh, maybe we will put this up, too, because I can kind of see that going halfway into the ground, and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not going to worry about the door being lined up with that. In fact, I might try to put most of the house build in this direction. 
even though I mowed out all this area, maybe I could put like a, I don't know, like a fountain here or something. We can make like a little town square. Uh, okay, yeah, before we do this, let's let's get our uh, scythe and our rake. I really hope I'm saying that right. Scythe, sickle. It's not really a sickle. Now, a trick to mowing down the grass. I noticed, I was trying to like mow it because it's like the axe. You slowly swing it. And then it mows half of it and then the rest. It's really tedious. But if you want to go fast, I discovered that left click and right click both mow down the grass. So if you're looking to just try to get stuff out of the way and you kind of become fast with your fingers, you can mow it down pretty quick. Uh, so just keep that in mind while you're playing the game. If you're like, oh my god, this grass sucks, it takes forever, uh, you can probably get the job done twice as fast. If you're, you know, it takes some skill. Uh, I don't know if they're going to nerf that eventually, or maybe they're going to make better tools so grass can be mowed faster. Maybe a lawnmower. I mean, they have modern furniture and lights, so why not a lawnmower? You can ride it around and mow the grass. That'd be awesome. And then the grass grows and you have to keep mowing it. That'd be pretty sweet. I mean, video games these days are all about having chores in them anyway. Look at Animal Crossing. I, I play the hell out of Animal Crossing, and all it is is a game full of chores. Speaking of Animal Crossing, Nintendo, bad segue here. Uh, today is actually my birthday, and I'm not looking for, uh, I'm not trying to pander for uh, <laughs> happy birthday wishes or anything. I'm telling you guys this because friends of mine have given me some awesome games already on Steam, and I really want to play some of these on the channel. Now, some of them may fit and some of them may not. But I'm going to dedicate this week and maybe part of next week to throwing some of those games in the mix uh, starting with tomorrow, I'm going to be playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to see what you're, you guys think in the comments. If you see the video go up and you want to check it out, you don't know what Binding of Isaac is, or you haven't seen Rebirth yet, or you don't know how a video of Binding of Isaac would really play out, check it out, and then in the comments, let me know if it's something you would continue to watch or not. Uh, you can tell me no, I'm not going to get offended, uh, I, I usually ask people to say no, like, oh, I, I think I'm just going to stick to watching Rising World Vortex, but thanks. Because it, it's a better vote, like, obviously people who don't comment could go either way, like, they just don't tend to comment. And that doesn't really help, because if, if, let's say, ten people all say yes, I'd watch more, but nobody says no, to me it looks like everybody wants to see it. In reality, though, ten people want to see it. I really don't know what the rest of the people think. So let me know if it's something you want to see, if it's something you don't want to see. Uh, keep me posted in the comments of that video and other videos you see coming on the channel here in the next few days. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll have some new series coming on the channel uh, thanks to your guys' uh, support and votes and stuff like that. All right, so I'm flattening out this area a little bit more. I think I'm good. This should be enough room to build like a nice, decent-sized house and fill it with furniture and things like that. I love that furniture's already in the game. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, in terms of other series and things going on on the channel. I've been doing a game called RimWorld. I've been playing RimWorld now be since before I picked up Rising World. And uh, I know a lot of you guys came here because of this game. But if you're looking for something pretty cool, something different, Rising or RimWorld is a lot like... Uh, imagine... I don't know. What's an RTS guys you guys play? Like StarCraft, uh, Warcraft, Age of Empires... It, it plays a little bit like an RTS. Instead of controlling the people, though, and telling them what to do, you kind of just set tasks, and whoever is around or has the skill level will just do it, and you prioritize it. So let's say we have this land here, and I need, I need uh, metals. I'll just set a mining point, and someone's going to go mine those metals. But I can also set a point to go farming and a point to uh, chop trees, and they'll just get it done. And you got to take care of them. Like, you got to prioritize everything they do and try to get them to survive and you can build and stuff like that it's a top-down game though so the building isn't very uh detailed it's not like rising world here where i need to worry about what the uh, roof looks like and stuff like that you just kind of put it together and that's that so that is a little bit of a rundown on RimWorld. i'm going to link the latest episode that i did in the at the end of this video and if you guys want to see it please uh just go check it out and if you like it, it's there. If not, you know, no big deal. I just thought I would share that with you guys. All right, so I'm trying to skip nighttime here, which is incoming. I'm not sure sleeping doesn't take too long. I, it's kind of uncomfortable. Like, you sit here and like, do I, do I just get up? Is it, is it time? But I don't, I think it's still evening. I think we have to wait till it gets dark before I can actually sleep. 
All right, let's get the rake back out. I'm going to, going to uh, level a little bit more land here. And then I will start to place down uh, the blueprints for my house. Blueprints per se. I This grass hasn't grown back yet. I'm not sure if it will. I kind of hope it does. Because it's going to look pretty damn ugly around here soon. If it doesn't. Okay. So. I mean, that's good enough. We'll just start placing things. And if I need to level more land, I'll level more land. Let's go to a fourth slot here where we have these. And I'm going to place... I'm going to place one, like, right out here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. That'll be the door. One, two, wait a minute. Now I'm confused. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth is the door. One, two, three, four. And then one on the end there. All right, cool. And let's just go back. One, two. I'm, I'm counting the spaces in between. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. On the fifteenth one, we'll place that there. And that should be a pretty decent sized little cabin. I guess cabin would be the word in this case. Place that there. Hey, I did it. Cool. I'm going to make four more because I don't like how deep those go into the ground and I'm trying to make a raised up design here so let's go to our sawmill and we will make uh, oh not sawmill no we want to go to the block crafting station go back to wooden blocks we have this one and there we go cool so this should raise it up nice and high no risk of grass growing through the floor I can make some stairs walking up to uh, the entrance and it should look pretty damn cool. I'm going to also try to utilize the uh, the walls in the game like out of planks instead of blocks. So we'll kind of change it up a little bit. Alright. So we have that. Now it comes down to what the hell we're going to do for the actual floor. Now I think the best way to do this is to make it out of blocks. I'm going to use... Uh, I don't have a whole lot of wood. I have way more stone. And I think we can make some really nice, like a really nice stone floor. So let's go and grab a little bit more stone. Come to our block station here. And I think I'm going to do... Let's see. Marble looks kind of gaudy and meh. That looks like granite. Stone tile. Uh, <laughs> no texture there. Uh, tiles in general, just like a bathroom tile or something like that. I'm kind of thinking like cabin-esque. If I do stone bricks, that might be a little more rustic and, and neat. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I like that. I know it's not the best, and you guys are like, why do you like that? But I'm not going for modern. I'm going for like old pioneer cabin thing. All right, that'll do. So what we're going to do, I'm going to see how this looks. I didn't make any other shapes, uh, but I want, I think, now that's weird. I guess I want it on top of this. Will that look too dumb? Huh. Let's just go like this. I think, I think this might look bad, but <laughs> I don't know. I want to go around these pillars so they're kind of like hidden a little bit. Go like that. And obviously we're going to need more. And I keep forgetting I can hold left click and pull out to here. Do that. Oops. And let's go. No. Am I, yeah, I only have two left. Let's do that. All right. I think that'll work. Yeah, why not? All right, I'm going to make a bunch more and finish up the uh, the floor here. All right, so I've completed the floor, and uh, it doesn't look too terrible. I mean, I can kind of see why Minecraft didn't add cylinders, because it, it just looks kind of weird with the blocks. But I'm sure once we start using different shapes and stuff, it might start to come together 
Uh, but I've seen this design before. Uh, it's just usually done a lot better. I'm, I'm not the best. You guys will soon realize I'm really, really not the best builder. <laughs> but it's okay. So uh, we have our, our uh, leveled up floor. I'm going to start making some uh, wooden planks. Uh, but first I want to get the, uh, the stairs crafted going up to it. I'm going to make these out of wood. Uh, the same color or type of wood that we used for the pillars. If I'm remembering right, I think it's that. And I'm going to make... Uh, a set of these stairs and a set of the these stairs. We'll kind of see how that looks. Uh, let's grab these and these and we'll go over here and just kind of see. Oops, I guess I accidentally placed a, bl placed a block. Kind of see how these uh, turn out. Now, do I rotate? Okay, cool. I can rotate them. We'll do that and that. And we'll take the other stairs. And I can, uh, I have to place them against a block, which is kind of defeating the purpose for me. But no problem, we can just go ahead and grab, I guess if I get rid of the blocks it's okay, but just in case I can't, let's get rid of this. I'm going to make some wooden blocks, similar to the pillars and the stairs here. We'll do a set of those. I just want to make sure this looks somewhat okay. It's not going to look the best. That's alright. And we'll come up like this. Ah, dang it. <laughs> it's alright. Come out like... Huh. Is that... That's not even ground level, though, so I gotta get... Like that. Okay. So it's not the worst. What I need to do is finish making those wooden blocks. We'll have the stairs going into the house. And then I can worry about what the walls are going to look like and uh, that sort of thing. So, cool. We have a good start here, I think, on our first build. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see where this ends up going. And I hope you guys are too. Because I'm liking the fact that you can make other types of blocks. Rather than just everything being cubes, we have a pretty wide variety of options. So we're going to go up like that, we're going to take these stairs, we're going to place them, turn them like that, place them here, here, and here, and ta-da! Cool! We can get onto our floor, and now I have the freedom to uh, start messing with the planks. And before we go, I'm going to try doing that, otherwise uh, this is going to be... Uh, a little bit of a disappointing ending, but it has been, it's been kind of a long video so far. Let's take uh, the, I think it's the sawmill? Planks. Wooden plank can be placed in the world. Okay. And then we get the different textures here. This looks similar to our, uh, our pillars and stairs, so I'm going to make, I don't know, just a bunch of them. In the hopes that I can build a wall out of them and they're not used for something else. But I'm pretty sure I can just make a wall. Let's go like this, okay, and we'll turn it like, whoa, I don't, oh wow, you can turn it, you can angle it, that's pretty cool, like with the arrow keys, uh, we'll turn it like that, and this seems to be pretty, uh, I can place this literally anywhere, it doesn't follow a grid like the blocks do, and that's a little bit too much freedom for my liking, <laughs> let's do it, huh, all right, does it snap to the other one? Not really. Well, it kind of pushes against it. So, I c wow, this can get really easily screwed up really fast. I have to be careful. But this is what it takes to build a wall. And I don't know, what do you guys think of this building mechanic? Do you think this is a little bit too much? Uh, do you think it's a little bit too challenging? Or do you think this is exactly what a building game needs? Freedom of being uh, not confined to a grid. I think this is going to make the house look like really kind of cool, like it was <laughs> slapped together like in this unique way. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know how to explain myself here. It, it, when you look at like an old cabin, you can tell like it was built by hand, you know? And that's what it, it, the build is going to have. It's going to have this like built by hand kind of look. So I don't know. 
And also let me know in, in the comments if you guys want to see me place this wall block for block or you don't mind if I fast forward. I feel like that's going to be a really boring thing for you guys to watch if I don't fast forward. Uh, I'm going to craft a bunch of these pillars though, show you guys what I'm thinking for the corners and we are going to head off. So I'm going to do my head off speech here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Help support Rising World. Share it with a friend or two. Help support the channel as well. I would greatly appreciate that. And, uh, of course, we will have more videos all week long, uh, especially just new games, things like that. I have a lot of different games to play, and uh, who knows? Maybe if the new games work out really well, we can we can start making it like a, a thing I do all the time. Just playing random... I already play a lot of random games, but playing, like, games that wouldn't make for the best of Let's Plays, you would think. Because they're not building games, and I can't, you know, I'm not going to be using my imagination as much. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm thinking for the corners. Uh, let's get a plank out. I'm gonna say... Wait a minute, is that... Did I just widen it? What? Look at that! What the... F no, 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 don't drop it. Are you telling me I can just take the... I can widen the wall to this level, which is not what I was trying to do. I was trying to rotate the wall. Okay. I'm going to have to play with this. I thought... <laughs> I thought I was rotating it like before, but apparently now... I can make the planks really thin or really long. I can drag them out. That's pretty cool. It's also frustrating because I have no idea how to rotate them now. Even though I was doing that just a second ago. Alright, well... <laughs> Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm going to try to figure this out, and uh, we'll have to catch up with you in the next episode. See you later. Rescue? See, without another medical bed or a prison, there's not a whole lot we can do, but we're going to put him in a sleeping spot. Uh oh, he's up. <laughs> You're ruining my berry picking day, Ragin. Oh my gosh, Weem's just going <laughs> to... What are you doing? Weem! Arrest that man. Oh, God. And with dark... He's... What's he doing? Is he stealing our food? <laughs>